Hello, everybody, and welcome to a, an episode. I, I don't even get to say a long overdue episode because it hasn't even been that long since the last one of Jurassic World the game. Because there is a new dinosaur, the Tarbosaurus. Uh, a lot of people speculate what it was. I was not one of them. But if you got it right, well, congratulations, you did a good job. Uh, so we're going to unlock this thing. Uh, unfortunately, it ain't cheap. Good news is, or has it been five years? It has it, because this game came out in 2015. Good lord, it's been five years since I first uploaded a video on this channel about this game. Would you believe? So hold on, let's collect the pack. So this um, is a VIP, and it's a VIP where, a VIP creature, a so sorry, like a solid gold creature, but you need to have VIP, because here it is. VIP exclusive packs, which are never any good. I never suggest anybody to waste their books on it. Oh, sorry, the VIP points on it. And, uh, yeah. So, you have a... I might, if I'm lucky, get 1,500 books. I also might get food and coin. What a waste that would be. But we are guaranteed a Tarbosaurus, and it's 50 friggin' thousand. Oh, I'm kind of tempted. I'm kind of tempted to get two. Because, um, well, we'll see what it's like at level 10. Um, but honestly, for 50,000... I could buy five solid gold packs. And, you know, in one pack, I might get 300 bucks. Possibly. But I've got five chances of, you know, five times three. I've got 15 chances to get bucks. And each time I do get a book, you know, that's an extra 100 bucks. So it's pretty decent. But, as you may see, at the top of my screen, I now have 9,869 bucks. Because I think I've got a way of getting bucks in the game. However... I don't want to say, I don't want to show you how to do it yet, because I haven't got it down completely. There are a little bit of tricks to it, like having so many resources or having so many things in your park. So I'm really starting to like nail down how to do this. Um, but once I kind of do get it down, uh, I will show you guys. Uh, once I've used it enough and once I know that it works, because if I show it to you guys, there's a very high possibility that Ludia are then going to stop it. Uh, just like with everything. There's a little little glitch or a little exploit in the game. They'll be like, nope, and just ban it straight away. Because, unfortunately, Ludia doesn't want people to find fun and creative ways to, you know, get resources in the game. What they want you to do it is to grind and spend all your life playing the game. Or hack it if you want, because apparently they don't care. <laughs> Even though they put out the statement, nope, they've had plenty of chances to show examples of people who do hack the game, ban them, but uh, no, decided not to do that. Don't know why, but hey ho, they put out a statement which meant nothing. Well done, Ludia. Anyway, we're here actually to have fun and operate Ludia because we do that a lot anyway. Uh, so, how about we unfortunately spent 50,000 bucks. Oh, God, there it is. On a top, so, but that's guaranteed to unlock that. So, we've got it. Uh, we did not get any books, which is just, just, just great. Got a coin. Really didn't want coin, but hey -o. Some DNA, so at least something came out of it. Uh, food we really don't need, but the Tarbosaurus, which is what we needed, and uh, I guess it's not too bad. Almost 4,000 VIP points back. <laughs> one time promotion? Oh, so, you know, you could spend 100 pound on a Tarbosaurus instead of VIP points. Uh, oh, tell you what, this time, if you buy it now, uh, we'll see, you'll save 20%, 75 pound. Oh my god, it's over, well, in American dollars, that's over $100. Whoa, what? Who spends $100 on a pack? Like, nowadays, you know, like when this game first came out, I had my excuse because I was kind of covering it and I wanted to show everything, so we did spend money on it. But get your pricing model right, Ludia. What is this? Oh, yeah. I'm, you know, usually when brands do this, they're like, um, they, they mark up a price and then cut it in half. And I think that's illegal, but some places do. It's like, that was never that price. It was always half price. This? No! No, I can see this pack being a hundred pound. Because I can go right on the market right now. And you, there needs to be... You know, remember that article when this game first came out where... I rem I'm not going to buy it. No, of course I'm not. Um, there was an article that came out about a kid who got... Uh, who spent hundreds, if not thousands, on in-game purchases on this game. I remember that article coming out not too long after the game came out. 
So can we just, I would love news articles to just run a, a, a spotlight on this and to be like, look, uh, you can go into this game straight away. You know, if, if a kid has, or there's, you know, it's a parent's iPad or whatever, they can instantly spend a hundred quid like that. What other website, what other situation can a kid instantly spend a hundred quid? None. A kid can't go to the shop and buy some because they don't have a hundred quid. But this game... I kind of feel like it's it's unethical in a way. Because, I, I mean, a lot of kids will play this game. They'll see these at prices. And, oh man, I don't... It, something needs to be done about these prices. Anyway, we do now have... Tarbosaurus! So let's go. Let's go for a check. Enough ranting, I know. I know. Uh, it should be in the VIP. Yeah, there it is. Okay, so what is it? At level 40, it has 2,000 attack. 3,300 health. Uh, let's compare that to Spinoraptor. Okay, it's a lot better than Spinoraptor. In attack, it's like double the attack. Um, and I mean, of course, a let so it's better than a super hybrid. Uh, yeah, I mean, VIPs are actually really good. So 85 bucks, that I'll take. The speed up I'll take. Only 85 bucks for that? Heck yeah, I'll do that. Oh. The interesting thing is, this, I think, is the the maps the same? No, I don't think it is. So, they, what they could have done is taken the model from Jurassic World Live and put it in this game. However, they didn't. They just kind of put, uh, the, I think they probably rejiggered this skin. I think the skin's probably the same and they just put it on the T-Rex model. Again, it has two fingers like it's, you know, I mean, come on, it's Jurassic World the game. We know why it has two fingers, because putting in a whole new model or for one dinosaur in this game doesn't really work. It's not really cost effective and then it'll have to be other ones. Look at my hair! Oh my god, it's so long! It's like... <laughs> anyway, let's feed this bugger to level 10. At level 10, 900 health and 527 attack. Good lord! That's so much! Oh, that's really good though. I mean, it's a complete glass cannon, but... Well, let's get some food back, shall we? Okay, so I don't think we can use it at level 10. At level 20... Oh, even then at level 20, I think it's a push, I would say. Uh, so let's have a look. What else? What else have we got? I've got to collect all these. So I've got level 2 super uh, DNA building. I've got level 5 production. And I've got level 10 uh, DNA building. So that's not too bad either. Let's have a look. What kind of trades we got? A John Hammond statue for coin. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. Uh, I'm not going to do that either. John Hammond statue for food. Great. Uh, fantastic. I might as well do that one. Uh, what's this one? DNA for books? Tuna DNA for... Yeah, I'd say so. I'd say so. I'd say the ratio is pretty decent there. And this one is 13 million coin for DNA. All right, let's do that one. So let's gather all our coins. Uh, now we need to claim that because we collected from the DNA building. So that's good. And I mean, it may as well. May as well. Okay. So we're going to try and refresh, re yeah, refresh the trades to see if we can get any good book trades. Chances are we won't, but it's only a hundred and odd books if we so. But if we do get one, it will be a lot of books. So let's give this a shot. Right, so coin for VIP points. Heck yeah, I'm gonna do that. So 50 bucks for 600 VIP points isn't too bad already out of that. That I don't have to hatch. So if it's a little bit less DNA than I normally get, at least I can get some DNA. Uh, this for food, that's not really worth it. Again, some DNA for books. Already we've made more books than we've spent. So yes, I guess I'll do that. Uh, is there anything else? And a decoration and Deodocus for coin. No. Okay, so we're up 40 bucks. But we're going to be down 10 bucks once we click this. So fingers crossed we get something good here. Uh, An Uncle Pristis for 105 bucks. I'll take it. So we're, we're up now 50 bucks, I think. Uh, I'm not going to trade that. I am not going to trade that. Again, we keep on getting this DNA for books, and that's an even better trade, kind of? Yeah, I'll take that so it's up a little bit more. I don't mind. So there we go, 10,000 books. And the last one, books for VIP. Hell no. So let's do another refresh. Let's give it a shot, see if we can get anything good here. Tries two tries. I mean, I may as well. Um, what else we got? Uh, that's good. I mean, do I need it? No, I don't need it. I don't. If I can trade DNA for books, I'll rather do that. So here we go. The exclusive uh, VIP trade offer that I don't think we've had yet. I can trade that 11,000 uh, loyalty points for an Orthocanthus. 
Now, I think Orthocanthus is a solid gold creature, so there's really no bonus. Uh, I mean, you guarantee getting it for an extra thousand, but you don't have the chance for getting anything else. You don't have the chance for... Um, What'd you call it? Uh, you don't have the chance to get any books or anything like that. So it's really not worth it. Uh, VIP points, four books. It's actually a better trade than DNA, which is interesting. So I'll take it. We need the books. That's what we, we're really striving for here. And uh, VIP points for DNA. Yeah, I don't think so. I don't think that's worth it. So nothing too great. So now we're going to go on a custom trades. So we're going to trade coin for uh, some dinosaurs to see what we can get. Velociraptor Gen 2, I'll take that, and I don't think we're going to be able to get anything, no. Um, I'll trade coin for food, see what we can get. 1 million for 800,000, yeah, yeah, that's actually pretty decent, especially if you need the food. Uh, so we did three trades, so we're getting experience and some more food for doing that. And now, let's have a look, because I know there was a Troodon uh, tournament going, so there's a Troodon. What are the things we got? Because we've got the Eucolodiceros. Um, and I'm only 5 out of 28. And this is something I think I haven't unlocked. So I do need it. Um, so any mission that I do, any pack, uh, I, goes towards that. So I could do It's a White House. Mighty Money, I think, is a waste. Oh, it's not. Never mind. Okay, let's do Mighty Money. Moolah. Uh, yeah, it's one kill. <laughs> one hit, one kill. Easy done. So Mighty Money. When Do we need coin? No. Uh, however, what we're going to get from it, from opening a pack, is of course VIP points. And then on top of that, we're also going to be getting, uh, you know, an extra step towards unlocking the Clash of the Titans event. And because I've got loads of these Diplo Sarcuses or whatever they're called, they're, they're so good. Um, and they basically kill one in one hit. Yeah, every time. So I've got three of them. So that's three rounds done. Super quick. I don't think battling goes towards any missions. I could be wrong. Like the daily missions you do, or even the super D uh, super DNA missions. Uh, that's something I need to do. I need to get to dominate a league in the Troodon anyway. Um, because that unlocks a lot of super DNA, and we need the super DNA. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay, so here we go. Ooh, do you think we'll win this one, guys? Do you think? I think we might be in with a shot here, like. A thousand damage at level 10. Wabam. Beautiful, beautiful. Right. I think I think the way of getting books, I think I have an idea. I have an idea. I need to do a couple more tests, and then I'm going to keep it to myself for a week. <laughs> just, just while I gather books. Um, and then... I'll see if I'm right. I'll see if I'm right. If, if, I mean, if it does work, I will tell you. I just wanna, I just wanna make sure. Cause as soon as I put it out, I know that they're watching and they're gonna fix it. Oh yeah, Lydia, Lydia li watches me and takes advice when I find a glitch. Oh, but when Beavers says to, you know, what about the people you said you were gonna ban? Oh uh, wait, 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 what Beaver video? What? Which one? <laughs> I know what you're like. Oh dear. Anyway, so that's one done. That's really good. Uh, VIP exclusive event. Let's see what we're talking about here. Uh, it's not too crazy, but four battles of it could really build up. It is a silver rewards pack, which means we don't win books, unfortunately. Because uh, they've taken books out of everything. Even golden rewards here. No books in that. Like, what can we win books in? If we were to win the Cenozoic battle, even then... You've only got one card pack. Well, sorry, one of the three cards has a chance, and it's 25%. It's like, come on, man. Uh, the Troodon. Now, what, what are the chances of the Troodon pack? Oh, that's better. But, you know, you got, you got, like, that takes... I think it takes about... If you want to go from zero to hero, zero to dominator, it takes, like, six hours straight gameplay to earn, what, a, a chance. A chance. You might get super unlucky and just get DNA, DNA, coin. Uh, but you do get Troodon. You do get Troodon. Uh, so what do we do? I kind of want to use Tarbo for something. Maybe I should have used Tarbo for the other event. Because I don't know if I can use it for anything else. Uh, should we use Tarbo for um, uh, PvP? Yeah, let's do that. That would be, that'd be quite decent. Okay, so let's see. So let's go to Carnivores. Now where is... Where is he? Oh, there he is. Look at that. He's on a round. Oh, my God. It's about the same as a Proceratosaurus. About the same. 
Although I don't know if Pro Stratosaurus is a 50,000 VIP point uh, investment. Whew. So if I put him in... Oh, we're already two away from the best prize wheel. So there's a chance we could win the legendary lineup. Um, if we do win the legendary lineup, what, what chances do we have? No books! No books! There is less than 1% chance to win this card, this pack, and you don't get any books. Are you kidding me? What? They're just taking books out of everything. I can't believe this. Do we actually have a chance to win on the prize wheel, though? No. No. No chance whatsoever. Oh, my God, Lydia. Stop. It costs books to enter. Okay, so if I put... I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to put in three Granlongs. And then I'm going to put in a Tarbosaurus. Now, hopefully, this is going to go one of two ways. It's either going to go that it averages down and I'll be against good things. Or it's going to average up to my highest. I think, I think because it's a tier... It averaged up to my highest. Oh, I'm saying that though. The one that I'm weak against is the Diplocalus, which is like level one. So that's that's actually not too bad. So yeah, this could be quite good because it's two herbivores. Oh, we could win this. Let's see. I've never won this. Uh, I've never done this event in ages. Let's see how it goes. Tarbosaurus. Ah, oh, look at that. Gonna kill a sauropod. Now, what can Ankylo An Ankylodocus do? Right, he can't kill me into it, so I may as well just go for two and make sure that I kill Shunosaurus here. Easy done. Easy done. Easy done. Ankylodocus can do about 200. I mean, Diplocalus, what's its attack 13? <laughs> oh my god, its attack 13. Are you kidding me? That's terrible. Come on, we may as well just. I mean, we need to kill Ankylodocus. For one of its hits, Diplocalus has to do how many? Like four or five attacks. There's no way. Oh, this is gonna be great. This is gonna be great. I can't wait. Come on. Come on then. Come on then. What are you gonna do? You're gonna do five hits? <laughs> Oh, I might as well just go for it. It's got 51 health. Oh, we got it. <laughs> Bless it. It didn't stand a chance. Ah, oh, Sean, the light shone. Good job, Basso. You did good, boy. <laughs> good girl. Right, okay. I mean, let oh, no, there, was there is books on the prize wheel. What? It didn't say that there was books. Five books for 50. I guess that's not too bad. Oh, and it doubles to so five books for 100. You know what? I mean, you are probably eventually... I mean, if you kept on doing it over and over, you just end up losing books, wouldn't you? Unless you won books on the prize wheel. Um, you know what? I'm going to cut this and let's play an advert and do another one. And then we click the X because sod that game. <laughs> right, come on. Advanced prize. <gasps> what will we win for watching an ad? Oh, that'd be so... Oh, 100 books would have been so good. <laughs> okay, okay. What can we do? What can we do? Masters of Tropics... I think I say we do this because we got guaranteed like silver rewards and that's probably better than anything we're going to win. I mean, gold rewards, I guess you got guaranteed of a gold dinosaur, but the li oh no, the lineup's even better. Heck yeah, let's do this one. Pterosaurs. Whoop -a -doop -a -doop. We're going to win this one super easy. Right, come on then. Totimo yasashi. I think. Is that very easy? I think. Or a lot easy. <laughs> right. Oh, this one's this one's the problem. The second Onosaurus. But we do two hits. He's out. And there you go. That 300 attack. 246. Done. Pterodostro. Good old Pterodostro. Attack, attack, attack. I might as well, right? Might as well just keep on attacking. Yes. So this video hopefully should be out tonight. I think. I've got, I'm, I'm, I'm late for something right now. I'm late for a meeting, but who cares about the meeting? I'm here for you guys. <laughs> oh, yeah. I just want to say thank you for all the support that um, uh, on the previous video, which was the Jurassic World Dominion news. Uh, the first half of that video isn't spoiler. So if you haven't checked it out, don't feel worried about spoilers. Um, and I do put up when spoilers happen. So don't worry about it. Oh, we've got a code 19. Oh, no. Oh god, it's one of the easy ones, isn't it? It's like one, two, three. <laughs> oh come on, don't fail this now. Yeah, this is like five, 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 five. I don't think 
you get anything extra because it's yeah, it's a perfect amount. It's it's six each. Baby's first capture. One, two, three. <laughs> oh, I don't even think you get anything for the last one, do you? You just do it so 15 DNA. Yeah, you don't get anything extra for doing the last one. Fantastic. But five Upo Cephalus DNA, which isn't too bad. So we did open three card packs. So we've won and some VIP points there, which I think we double. I think. I could be wrong. It doesn't show you that it doubles. Oh, it's flyers again, Mars. And girls. <laughs> All exclusive here. Let's go. Ooh. Actually, ooh. I made it a little bit harder on myself, even though they are nerfed. Um, I haven't used the best creatures. Especially this hybrid. Ooh, 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 ooh. Although he did two attack there. Meaning he's left himself wide open. And two attacks just kills him. So that's really good. Uh, now the Labber or Ichthyostega is going to come in. And Ichthyostega can kill me in one hit. Uh, so he's going to go for two. Because I could have uh, one block. Which means that Tyrannodon, pecky eyes, is going to be able to kill it in two hits, and then I can go for two reserves. So, wow, we're smashing this out the park. This is really good. This isn't a VIP one either. You don't need re... I mean, I guess the Legendary, right? But if you've been playing this game for a long time, you've probably got these kinds of creatures. Yeah, if you haven't done this one, definitely do it before it goes tomorrow. Easy, unless it gets super hard. <laughs> it might do. It might just try, like, Gorga Sutures, Gorga Sutures, Gorga Sutures. Um, oh, we got another... Oh, everything's all going great. Another five. <gasps> Ooh. So we're going to get five from this. I think that's only if you if you don't end up in the... If you end up in the blue, I think you get five. But if you end up in the green, you get double it, so you get ten. Might be wrong here. Oh, it's, it's, another, it's a kind of baby's first. I think this is the set where it gives you the bottom one. Uh, last, like to time it. So one, two, three, four, five. All right, come on, come on. Oh, one, two, three, four. Oh, it wasn't. It's a little bit of a harder one, but we're doing it. Come on, go on. I got this, like a boss. What? What? I was clicking. No. That was not me, guys. That was me, however. Okay, well, we ended up in the green, so do we get 10? No, we just got 5. I'm so sure. Oh, God, do I even want to do another one? It's not, It didn't even pick me up. Is this dirty? Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> so we have a chance of getting 490 DNA here, which isn't too bad. All right. One, two, three, four, five. I can't, I can't, like, I clicked it. I clicked it. You didn't see, but I clicked it. <laughs> doop, doop. Oh god! Well, there goes the 490, I think. Go on then. Whoa! That was a fast one. Come on, give me the super DNA. I switched the D the super DNA building to be the Demetrodon as well. Come on. Oh, this is the baby's first one. Very good. Very good. I like that one. Oh, this is gonna be another one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes. Is that 80? Oh, 60. And now it's a timer at the bottom. Come on. Pya! Pya! That was my last chance to get some DNA, 140, but we do get 10. Not bad. Okay, come on, let's finish this. Finish the fight. Uh, so if I go to Tranodons, I can use that, then Skeletor, and then a dragon, and that's pretty much won me yet. So he's probably going to switch out his Sarcosuchus for his Dimetrodon, I would assume. Oh, did you catch that? Scratching my armpit, yes. <laughs> War clean, don't worry. Yeah, he, I thought so. I thought he'd switch. Um, so, I might as well just go for two hits here. He didn't block either, so that's 600 attack, basically. Gets rounded down to 300, so... He's not gonna kill me. We're easily gonna kill him. Alright, come on, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. I got people waiting for us over there. <laughs> you haven't even messaged me. Where are you? Alright, come on then. Come on. Right, so that's 50. Last one, guys, to get gold rewards. Oh, and it's actually really easy. Should we just... Should we just use the Metrophodon? No, no, I'll do it in my own spare time. <laughs> that's way too much over an overkill. We could, when we do the VIP buyback, like hatchery instant recovery building, whatever you want to call it. So we could do that. And actually, that's a point I, I could uh, use the um, instant hatchery on something. So I didn't even need to spend 80 bucks. 
uh, hatching that uh, Tarbosaur. I could have just instantly done the hatchery with it, but I forgot about that. Whoa! Uyops has so much health! I didn't expect it to survive that. Uh, but with 174 attack, it's really nothing to, uh, to worry about, is it? So cool, Asuchus. Coolasaurus Super Kool-Aid! Who remembers that? Ah, good old days. <laughs> God, we've been, we've been through so much, haven't we? Wow. Super Kool-Aid, Peggy Eyes, Unicorn Wizard. Uh, buying Mystery Packs, who remembers that one? Oh, that was good. <laughs> and Golden Rewards. And we weren't going to win any books, but we did get some DNA. And... We got trend done, which either we can sell, hatch, whatever. And of course, the most important part is, of, you know, going towards the Clash of the Titans event and 1,300 uh, VIP points. So we're going to end it there, guys. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. Until next time, I'll see you later. Oh, bye bye.